I, uh, I tried to put a call in to, uh, to the present Prime Minister, uh, and uh, he was very late there at night. I'll be talking there in the morning. I'm going to be stopping to sign the condolence book at the Japanese Embassy on the way to the CIA. Um, <clears throat> this hasn't happened in Japan in decades and decades. I'm told all the way back to the late 30s, the mid 30s. And it's a homemade weapon. I've only seen a photograph of it. The Justice Department is going to be going in and giving me more detail later as they find out the detail. But um, the fact is that uh, one thing did strike my, get my attention that this is the first use of a weapon to murder someone in, the, in Japan. And I think we have thus far have 3,000, I won't hold me to the number, 688 or, I mean, between three and 4,000 cases. They have one, one, one. And so, uh, um, but we're going to learn more about, as time goes on, about motive, about you know, the whole. But Japan, Fumio, the present, Prime Minister is a very solid guy. Japan is a very, very stable ally. And uh, we, uh, I, I do not believe it's likely to have, but I don't know yet, likely to have any profound destabilizing impact on Japanese security or Japanese uh, solidarity. Thank you all so very much. Thank <laughs> 좀그 아쉬움과 또참그뭐이 어 동북아를 위해서는 어 노력을 열심히 하시다가 결국 돌아가셨다 해서 상당히 아쉽고 또그 가족들한테 진지한 조의를 또 의문을 드리고 싶습니다. She has written a wonderful person, great democrat, and champion of the multilateral world, world order has passed away. I mourn with his family, his friends, and all the people of Japan. This brutal and cowardly murder of Shinzo Abe shocks the whole world. I wish to extend our deepest sympathy and condolences from the government and the people of the Republic of Indonesia to the government and the people of Japan at this time of sorrow. His dedication to serving his country and people will always be remembered as a prime example for all. Start by expressing my sympathy and my thoughts and the sympathy and thoughts of the Australian people and the Australian government to the people of Japan following the passing of former Prime Minister Abe. Mr Abe has been the closest of friends to Australia. We condemn this shocking act of violence. His death is tragic. It is devastating news for Japan and its people, for Australia and for the internet. I offer my condolences uh, to Akie Abe, the wife of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and to the rest of his family and loved ones. Our thoughts are with you and with the people of Japan today. I've known, I knew Shinzo um, for many years. Uh, he was a thoughtful, compassionate, strong leader who, who understood the importance of service, understood the importance of building a better world, better opportunities for his citizens, but stepping up and getting involved in issues around the world that really, really mattered. He was a great friend and a partner to Canada. He was a man of immense talent. And not just his family, not just the entire country of Japan, but the entire world feels his loss. Compounded by the fact that to see a senseless act of violence when he was busy doing what he loved in serving his community, serving his country, stepping up in a political campaign 
is horrifically disturbing. It is important that all of us recommit ourselves to the values and principles of democracy, which hold that, yes, there will be incredible diversity of perspectives, of opinions, of views on how we need to go forward. But in a democracy, that is settled not just at the ballot box, at the ballot box, but in between times of ballot, through conversation, through dialogue, through speaking our truths, sharing our concerns, but also through listening to each other. And we must all join together in condemning and pushing back against any threats of violence, any threats of intimidation and division that undermine the public space that we occupy in a democracy in which we all feel safe to contribute, to share, and to serve. On days like today, we're reminded again that our world needs more positivity and more hope.